What's going on everybody? Welcome to the channel. So a little while ago, a few hours ago, I got back from watching Spider-Man No Way Home. I uh, went and seen it uh, with my daughters. My, uh, my, my daughter wanted to take me and so she got the tickets for us, which I thought was really cool of her to do. So uh, we went and seen Spider-Man No Way Home and um, I just wanted to get on here and give my impressions of the movie no spoilers whatsoever on this because uh, this is definitely a movie that you don't want to be spoiling uh, for other people to see. So um, uh, first, let me start off by saying um, I've never been the biggest fan of the Tom Holland Spider-Man. Not Tom Holland himself. I think he's done a great job in the movies, but the whole um, Tony Stark's uh, little project kid, uh, you know, you know, making his suits for him, uh, you know, Spider-Man running around in Iron Man suits. Uh, it's not the Spider-Man that I grew up with. You know, I grew up with, uh, the, the Spider-Man that was a genius, um, who, uh, made his own suits, who made his own web shooters, um, the the guy who was always in turmoil, wanting to protect everybody, and at the same time uh, trying to scratch out a living while protecting his identity and the people that he loved. That's the Spider-Man I kind of grew up with and always has been my absolute favorite superhero uh, out of all the superheroes. Um, I always loved his kind of wise-ass way, his, uh, you know... When he's Spider-Man, he's kind of pompous and he, he wants to do things on his own. He's kind of a loner when it comes to being a superhero. Now, that doesn't mean he didn't help help out. Uh, there's many comics where he helps out the X-Men and stuff like that. And him and Wolverine are always getting into it with each other, which I always loved that in the comics. But um, I never... I don't know, there's something about his character. Mostly when he was in the Avengers movies. Now, his standalone movies, the Spider-Man standalone movies, I have definitely enjoyed. I really liked the last one, the second movie, a lot. And um, I was really looking forward to this movie. And I was afraid that all the hype, that it was going to be overhyped. Now, you know this happens all the time. A movie gets so hyped that when you go to see it, you actually get let down. Well, let me tell you that is absolutely not the case in this movie. This movie made me a Tom Holland Spider-Man fan. I love this Tom Holland Spider-Man. Um, absolutely. Uh, the movie was two and a half hours long. I think it could have even been longer and it would have been fine. Uh, this movie was well paced. Uh, everything in it moved along really well. There was no slow spots in this movie. Absolutely none. Um, had a lot of good comedy. Uh, a lot of good jokes thrown in there. Uh, not everything was perfect in it, but um, it worked really well. It worked really well. Uh, it had sadness in it uh, where you know a lot of people cried in this movie. I, I didn't cry in this movie. But I gotta tell you, I probably came pretty close. Um, several parts in this movie, very sad. Um, uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's the movie. Like I said, the movie was very, very well done. Um, I love, love, love the way they ended this movie. They ended this movie basically. Spider-Man grew up in this movie. He, he grew up, he went from this kid, this uh, high school kid, to having to grow up and be the Spider-Man that we all know and grew up with, pretty much, in this movie. So, uh, yeah, like I said, I don't want to give any spoilers um, about the movie, but, uh, yeah, do yourself a favor and go check out Spider-Man No Way Home. Uh, fantastic ending. This movie, the ending of this movie, left me wanting at least one more Tom Holland Spider-Man movies. 
I would love to see what happens after this movie. Um, I think it would be an absolute shame if they left it like this. Uh, left it the way it ended. And we didn't get at least one more uh, Tom Holland Spider-Man movie. It would be a shame. It really would. Uh, I, I think I speak for everybody who's seen this movie that you would like to see something. I don't know. Maybe it ended perfectly. Maybe it ended perfectly. And that, and we all know what happens, you know. But, uh, yeah. I think uh, the comedy in this movie was really well done. Uh, the fanfare in this movie was well done. They definitely put a lot of stuff in there for the Spider-Man fans uh, in the world to uh, really give us uh, stuff that we wanted. I'll just say that. And um, they did a great job on it, man. This They really did. They really did. I was really happy that the movie lived up to all the hype. Because for a while there, I mean, it seemed like there was a new trailer coming out every day and oh, look at this, and look at this, and look at his hand here, and what's he doing? <laughs> and I, was, uh, I just tried to stay away from it. I tried to stay away from the hype as much as I could because I know what happens when they overhype a movie and it just doesn't live up to it. But this movie definitely lives up to the hype. This could be one of the best superhero movies uh, ever made. I'll go out and say that. And again, this is coming from somebody who was not a huge Tom Holland Spider-Man fan, uh, but am a huge Spider-Man fan. I again, like, like I've got just about every issue of Todd McFarlane's Spider-Man comics. Um, I was a big Amazing Spider-Man comic fan when I was a kid. I had the entire um, Secret Wars series. I know which isn't just Spider-Man, but I got. I bought the whole series, which I think was 12 issues. Unfortunately, I don't have it anymore. But I got it because that's where Spider-Man gets his black suit. That's where he first uh, runs into the symbiote on an alien planet. And that's where he gets the black suit. So now, now I hear tell that they're going to make Secret Wars movie, which I think would have to be a series of movies uh, to work out. But... Uh, yeah, I'll talk about that on another video. But for now, um, yeah. Go see Spider-Man No Way Home. You won't regret it. If you love action-packed movies, if you love Spider-Man movies, if you love superhero movies, you're going to love this movie. Uh, people clapped in this movie several times. People cried in this movie. Um, stay for the end credits for sure. There's two scenes in the end credits. One like towards the beginning and one all the way at the end. You got to stay for those. And uh, yeah, like I said, check it out. You won't regret it. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you next time. I'm Chewy Solo and this is Black and Red. See ya. Woo! Now that is a whole lot of fun right there.